From the Storm Team Weather Lab, KMAC Chief Meteorologist Ron Roberts. And uh, good afternoon, everybody. We get the pinpoint Doppler 1 radar that, unlike yesterday at this time, showers and thunderstorms were beginning to take over to the west of us. Uh, today we have that uh, little green line, looks like uh, a bit of a snake uh, across Gaines County and back over toward Denver City. This is more than likely the dry line. That's a boundary that separates on this side more humidity on the west side, drier air. And it's really discernible today on the radar, more than likely because of just the differences in the drought. I mean, we, we're so dry back over here that uh, it's fairly easy to make the gradient out. Uh, it looks like here in New Mexico, it's just kind of stalled out. To the north of us, there's a front that's near Old Say Canyon uh, in southern portions of the Amarillo greater area. And so it looks like a couple of showers are trying to pop on that boundary, but certainly not very much. And the NTS live sky view looking toward the north, up the interstate toward Amarillo, uh, a lot of high clouds. Now, high clouds, if you ha don't have all the ingredients just right on the day, sometimes can suppress and stability and therefore thunderstorms. So a quiet day and also after an event like we had yesterday where one or two thunderstorms decide to become what we'd call an MCS, a multiple cluster system of thunderstorms, <laughs> it ended up going well south of the south lanes all night long. Live and local, here are the temperatures and they've not really recovered much today. 89 degrees in plain view with a southeasterly wind came back holding at 88 degrees as well. And we did pick up some nice rain here. Brownfield, of course, had the microburst 89 in level land to the west. Now the Mesonet site picked up a half inch, but our live weather site at DeMarcus office was less than three tenths of an inch precipitation. The forecast model is showing that there's some showers going to be here at five o'clock. Check my watch here. I don't know, I, not, I'm showing a little bit after five o'clock and Jake, if he's looking at his watch and so in other words, what I'm saying to be a little facetious here, forecast models are off on this and, and more than likely because the models are trying to pick up on the front, still off. So, you know, really the chance for thunderstorms for today, not so good. Now, tomorrow, a different story. Uh, the front, again, will be in the proximity of the area. The dry line will be setting up. And by the afternoon, there you go. Thunderstorms will blow up uh, and we'll have plenty of instability tomorrow as temperatures will really warm up. Look at this line going right through Lubbock again by the afternoon, late, early evening. And let me tell you something, the HRRR nailed it yesterday. So we're going to stay with the HRRR's solution as it goes away. As far as the risk for tomorrow, all of the South Plains under a slight risk of severe thunderstorms in some locations, hail perhaps up to a couple of inches in some locations, and wind 70, 80 miles per hour, localized flooding, yeah, for sure. Precipitation amounts showing up in the models to 34 hundredths of an inch. This is the global forecast model. Even heavier amounts up in the panhandle and even heavier amounts to the east of us. Otherwise, tomorrow's temperatures, well, We'll start seeing the temperatures begin to warm up. This is not tomorrow's temperatures, upper 90s or so. So we'll get to this and say, hey, guess what? Next week, if you start seeing hazy conditions in the area, it's because the Sahara dust is going to be able to get up into our region. We'll talk more about this as time goes on, but this is an interesting phenomena that uh, many are talking about across the world. Carbon, you got yourself a rain gauge with, of course, Mr. Wildcat Rowley, 68 degree temperature overnight tonight. Here's forecast high temperatures for tomorrow at 88 degrees, 50 percent chance for thunderstorms and severe weather alert day Saturday, first day of summer a bit, 20 percent chance. Then after that, we go hot and dry, 100 degrees. Another front on the way by Tuesday of next week. KMAC News at 5 o'clock continues. Now it's time to talk about some cooking.